Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. This is Jacob. So Alibaba just dropped the latest Q1 2.5 Max model, which claims to be outperforming DeepSeek V3 in a lot of metrics. And it is also a MOE model, which is the mixture of experts model. And you can see the announcement on their uh, blog. Uh, so this model is accessible via Qwin chat, which is also a very new chat a platform from Alibaba, the API and the hugging face demo. So, and this model uh, also claims that the current um, 2.5 max is a large scale MIMOE model that has been pre-trained over 20 trillion tokens and the further post trained with the created supervised fine tuning and the reinforcement learning from human feedback methodologies. Because this is the same strategy that DeepSeek V3 did. And today they're saying they want to share the performance of the results of Q1 2.5 Max and announce the availability of its API through the Alibaba cloud. And if you look at the performance, uh, they listed Q1 2.5 Max, DeepSeek V3, Llama 3.1405B, GPT 4.0, and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. As you can see from the metrics, Kuban 2.5 Max outperforms uh, DeepSeek V3 in all metrics, right? But it doesn't outperform GPT 4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet in all metrics. But in this graph, you can see it indeed outperforms DeepSeek V3, which is very cool. So in this tutorial, we're going to test this model step by step for all the questions. Um, if you uh, also go to their uh, use Q2.5 max section, they have a few samples. So I will test some of the samples that listed here as well. So that being said, let's get started. So as I mentioned earlier, this model is available on the Hugging Face spaces. Also, it's available on the new uh, Alibaba Q1 LM chat. Um, so if you can see from the Hugging Face one, this is a lot simpler. So uh, we're going to test on the new chat platform, which supports artifacts, web search, image generation, and video generation. Um, we're going to test artifacts and web search uh, from the test samples they listed on their announcement. Okay, and let's get started. So I prepared about 16 questions plus two questions from the announcement page. So first, let's try to write a Python function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in the list. So let's do that. Let's paste in the chat. Um, we don't select anything yet. We just test the test text. So let's hit enter. Okay, so this seems to be correct. Uh, let's copy the question. And also let's paste it in the Google IDX and test it out. Let's paste the question. Let's click run. So you can see uh, the result is 12, which is 246, this is correct. So let's mark that up as. The second question, solve this following problem. So if a train travels at 60 miles for 2.5 hours, then increases its speed to 75 miles for the next 1.5 hours, what's the total distance traveled? So let's paste the question. Okay, 262.5 miles. This is correct. The generate as feature code for butterfly. So, okay, let's paste the question. Okay, let's copy paste the result to the SVG viewer. You can see this is a butterfly. So let's mark that as a pass. The fourth question, 
This would send an algorithm to optimize the layout of a warehouse for an e-commerce company. So let's paste the question. So this is correct, uh, let's mark that as a pass. So and also they have code as well, so which is awesome. Uh, let's mark that as a pass. The fifth question, create a Python implementation of Conway's game of life. Okay, so let's paste the question. Okay, let's copy the, the result and paste it into Google IDX. Let's test it. So they have 20 generations. So you can see this is running correctly. And this is awesome. So let's mark that as a pass. So the sixth question, you have a three gallon jug and five gallon jug, how can you measure exactly four gallons of water? Let's paste the question. So this is correct. Let's mark that as a pass. The seventh question, a friend tells you that they didn't get the job they really want. So craft an uh, empathetic response that acknowledges their feelings and offers support. Okay, let's paste the question. Good, so this is a good response. Let's mark that as a pass. The eighth question, so, a self-driving car must choose between hitting a group of pedestrians or swerving and likely killing the single passenger. So, what ethical considerations are involved in programming such decisions? So, let's paste the question. Moral responsibility. Okay, good. Consistency across scenarios, legal implications, implications. Oh, there's no universally correct answer to the ethical dilemma. It, it is uh, involves balancing competing values like minimizing harm, respecting individuals' rights, and ensuring public trust. Oh, this is good. So let's mark that as a pass. Ninth question, write a short story uh, about a time traveler who accidentally changes a major historical event. Scope the question and paste it. So this is good. So let's mark that as a pass. The tenth question, so explain the difference between irony and scarcism and provide an example of each. Let's paste the question. Okay, this is good. Let's mark that as a pass. What's the capital city of the country whose name ends with Leah? Okay, so I'm referring to the country name here. So let's paste the question.
Australia, and its capital city is Canberra. This is good. Let's mark that as a pass. So, twelfth question is three three zero seven at prime. Let's pick the question. So it is prime. That's correct. So thirteenth question: Have two apples, then buy more. I bake a pie with two apples. Then after eating half the pie, how many apples do I have left? Let's paste the question. Two whole apples left. That's correct. So let's mark that as a pass. The fourteenth question: The Sally is a girl, and she has three brothers, and each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? Let's paste the question. One. That's correct. So let's mark that as a pass. The fifteenth question: Create a Python program that prints the next eight years based on the user input. Let's paste the question. So let's copy the code, paste it into IDX. Okay, let's run it. So how many leap years、uh, do you like to see? So I paste it. Three years. Three years. So it's twenty-eight, thirty-two, and thirty-six. So this is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. So sixteenth question. So create a landing page for AI company. Okay, let's paste the question. Okay, let's copy the HTML and paste it into the viewer. Okay, this is good design and good coding. So awesome. So let's mark that as a pass. It's a good AI landing page. Let's mark that as a pass. So the last two question. So let's try actually the eighteenth one first. So how many A letters in the word Alibaba? So this is actually one of their samples they showed. So let's paste the question. So this is true. So final answer three. So how many A's are above? It's three. This is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. The last question. So the relationship between DeepSeek and Nvidia's stock prices. This is cool. Okay, let's test it.、Uh, and also this actual web search. So let's click web search, and hit enter. So you can see that's actually searched the web for real time. So, so the answer is、uh, the tail of DeepSeek and NVIDIA stock prices is a veritable soap opera of technological intrigue. It seems that DeepSeek, with its excellent AI advancement, has decided to play the role in the disruptive younger siblings. Okay, so this is actually pretty good.、Um, so, what what is the、uh, outcome of this? Oh, so they also have this、um, uh, reference, right? So you can actually click the reference to see. So truly, if Silicon Valley were Shakespeare's theater, this would be Act Three, Scene Two. So the fall of the Titan, brought to you by an upstart wielding smarter algorithms and fewer GPUs. So guys, this is okay.、Um, so they didn't actually directly say. The、uh, effect of the price, but it did some analytics. So,、um, 
What's the other things? What are the potential impact of a advancement? So there's a suggestion. This is like perplexity, if you see here, right? So let's click that. You can see it is actually like perplexity. So there's suggested questions. So they did another search of the web, and then they also answered from uh, the web. Right. So basically, we're asking what are the potential impacts of AI investments on stock market investments. So they have econom economic impact, enhanced analytical capabilities, market dynamics and risks, volatility in AI stocks, and our performance of AI focused stocks, sentiment analysis, and speed and rea uh, reactivity, broader market benefits. So this is really cool. So I think this is correct, so let's mark that as a pass. So overall, I think they answered everything correctly. So you can see here, everything is correct. So which proves to be true that Q1.15 Max is an excellent model. So if you want to try it for yourself, um, you can also access the API. So they have the API available uh, through the Alibaba cloud. So one of the cool things is Alibaba has a great cloud infrastructure. So that's a very good benefit. Uh, so you can scale uh, very easily. Not like the other companies, right? So they have a build a great model, but they don't have the infrastructure. So when there's a lot of traffic, they might not be able to handle it. And if you say uh, deep seek, right? They could uh, handle more traffic if the infrastructure uh, comes up, but Alibaba wouldn't have the problem. So that being said, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.